quite kid friendly. The music is all kid friendly. See my little man is chilling. We never be a victim to the system. Rapping on the microphone. I'm really a man that's on the mission. 42, 85. I gotta follow my intuition. Don't you know we gotta get it? Utah really took a killing. But either way, we gotta heal him with the Frodo. Got the ring for the baby girl like Frodo. Kid friendly rapping, and I'm really about the mojo. The flow up and down like hydraulics. That's on pogos. Using hip hop as a medium to spread education and positivity to change the culture of hip hop, which is most often viewed as killing, sex, drugs, everything negative, into something that's making love, connection, expression cool again. The earliest memory I have of uh, getting into hip hop was watching MTV with my parents around probably three. It was a Tupac song. I believe it was Dear Mama. I felt the connection and the expression of what he was saying in the form of poetry. And I think since then, you know, music has been something that I, I realized it was like one of the most powerful mediums on planet Earth. So in college, that's when I first realized that football is not what I wanted it to be. It turned into military. So I, I realized quickly that, you know, my getaway was writing. So I just was writing and nobody knew really, you know, it was more of like a secret thing that I had to myself that I knew somehow I'm gonna propel out of this and be a, and be a rapper. Um, I believe when I was 17, so I was still in high school, so I did a song for my football team and they wanted me to perform it at the assembly. I did the song and my mom heard it. She knew I rapped and wrote, but she didn't know it was something that like, I could record a song and it'd be amazing. So that's kind of like the first time my parents were like, I see what he's doing here. Now I, uh, I run a nonprofit called Kids at Heart Foundation. I'm doing a global initiative. Me and some buddies of mine are uh, taking seven artists to South Africa for, for a tour. We're also working with uh, Phonetics, which is an app to teach kids how to read. And we're, gonna, we're doing a US tour next year. So I'm starting to see that as an independent artist, I'm doing global initiatives, local initiatives. I, I, I believe wholeheartedly that if your dream is connected with serving others, making this world a better place, I believe that the source of life is gonna aid you and make a way if you don't give up. Don't give up on your life. Who is that? Gotta testify, you extra fly, that's the confidence. Rapping for my brother Utah, you know you seem lost, but that's okay. Y'all can even switch the plan, look for us, I never lose. But you know I'm like Carlos Loser too, I never snooze. I don't even take naps in the afternoon. I stay woke like this ain't no joke. Rock cam, I drop the mic and then I have to let it smoke. What?